Today I've come to a small rocky pinnacle that sits just off the very south end of Pipi Lay. It's called Bida Nok. Uh, it's a beautiful dive site. Visibility is normally good and it's always full of fish and I start filming this school of big eye snapper and this is a good shot to show how they get their name big eye. They're called big eye snapper and they're always found in large schools. Big schools of trevally coming in and out of the reef, normally sitting off in the blue. These are called yellowfin trevally. Much of the reef is covered in large, very healthy Gorgonian sea fans. And those are gold band fusiliers that you can see swimming around the fan. This is a kind of blenny. Uh, many people confuse it with a goby, but the square shaped head gives him away as a blenny and he's called a red spot blenny and he's just feeding in the in the sand there being harassed by that wrasse looking for some free handouts by the look of it and basically they suck up a load of sand and then they filter it out through the gills you can see the sand coming out the back of his head there from the gills this is a bizarre kind of sea urchin and I must confess that I can't tell you the common name many of the sea urchins only have Latin names I've scoured my fish ID book but I can't find it so maybe I've discovered a new species highly unlikely though uh, but what struck me as unusual about this sea urchin was just how fast he was moving across the sand I've never seen a sea urchin move this fast before inside his body he had these beautiful violet blue spots and the bright red stripes there. Big barrel sponges, very common on any of the reefs around PP. These guys are juvenile cardinal fish and this was quite an interesting scene because they were just hiding in amongst the spines of a spiny sea urchin. This is a beautiful example of just how healthy the reefs around PP are, covered in dendro soft coral, large gorgonian sea fans everywhere, clouds and clouds of fish, good strong healthy hard coral. Now, this is something very unique and very rare. Uh, it's a kind of pipefish. Pipefish can be quite difficult to identify. I'm pretty sure this one is called a banded pipefish. You can see the striped coloration on its tail and all the way up to its head. They're in the seahorse family. Uh, they're very difficult to spot because often they just look like a little bit of coral or a twig or a branch or something. You can see his head and he's got a small dorsal fin on his back about halfway down just like a seahorse. It's called a banded pipefish. The name of the dive site is called Bidanok. It's one of PP's best dive sites. It's on the far southern end of Pipi Lay and you can get there either from Pipi, from Phuket or from Krabi.